take a minute and look around at the people around you. This is an extraordinary crowd. More extraordinary is that it was organized in less than a day. For those of us who spend our lives working on organizing people for justice, that's just astounding. But we need to make sure that this power, this quickness, this reaction to injustice is something we can reproduce again and again because we certainly have not seen the last of it. We have tremendous power here in this group. There would be even more people here if we'd had more time to organize. We have tremendous power in that group too. We have resources we can give. And we have organizing work to do. It's great to be here with our signs. We also need to ask ourselves all to do more, do more than we've done so far. Maybe you've never called your elected officials before. Guess what, now is the time. There are a couple of ways we can do this. It's extraordinarily important. You heard people talk already about the Community Safety Act here in Providence. We need to use our power to make that happen. Yes. You heard Representative Regenberg talk about some of the stuff that's happening in this building behind us in terms of immigrant rights. There's a lot we can do here in the state to protect our immigrant friends and neighbors, and we need to be sure that our elected officials know that we expect it. Yes. We need to be clear that we're asking our federal delegation all the time and every day to do what they can to resist the terrible parts of the Trump agenda. You all have an opportunity to do that with us later this evening. There's going to be a band. We're going to march over to a dinner Senator Whitehouse is having and ask him why he has supported Mike Pompeo for CIA director. <laughs> And say so we expect more. We expect more resistance. We can do a lot if our elected officials will stand with us and we will come together again and again to stand for and with one another. <laughs>